Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about the new episode of One Piece, which is on episode 1065. I'm pretty sure you guys might be wondering why am I having this freaking ridiculous summary or recap of a One Piece episode very late. There's a reason for that. I watched a new movie recently, which is Across the Spider-Verse. Everyone knows that movie. Very good, by the way, in my opinion, by all means. Well, being off topic, let's just get this started. We have to, you know, um, that... Um, it plays a long recap, you know, and then after the episode title, we see to it that Raizo got Fukuro Joe in the Paralyzed Ninjutsu, and Fukuro Joe gets on fire, you know. While Raizo is on fire, he's not bothered by it at all, you know, that kind of thing. As for Jinbei, he saves a couple subordinate allies whatsoever, while Chopper himself, he goes back to normal eventually, while Big Buck continues to cause rampage and chaos, you know. As for Zoro, he gets greeted by some kind of death grim reaper whatsoever and getting ready to kill him. We don't really know if that's real or not, but who knows. As for Frankie, he's running for his life trying to figure out what's go what to do. And Izo meets CP0 after take care taking care of a couple subordinates. And we have to it that CP0 says, hey, let's, not, let's just say we haven't seen each other, okay? That's about it. Izo, on the other hand, decides to stop him and get ready to go into action against him. As for Yamato, she arrives at the weapons room and and freezes up the bombs and clashes against that giant slu sluggy fireball creature whatsoever, I don't know. And we have to it that Kid and Law gets, gets defeated by Big Mom once again, or they get defeated by Big Mom, or that's what she thinks, that she, or that's what it seems like, you know? Law and Kid's subordinates were trying to get to them and try to heal them up, however, but Big Mom stops them from getting to them and causes some major damage. Chopper, on the other hand, decides to try to, fi try to find a way to fix up Law and Kid. However, Big Mom, on the other hand, underestimates Kid and Law and ignores them, thinking that she defeated them already, and, that's a and decides to go to the roof and try to finish this. However, she gets interrupted by Law once again, who uses Chrome or Chrome on his sword, and attacks Big Mom with another shock willy whatsoever, you know? And we have to it eventually, um, whatchamacallit, Kid ends up managing to do some damage to Big Mom by summoning Punk Dio, Punk Quarter Dio whatsoever. We don't, I don't know. One thing's for certain is that, like him, he, he, he amasses a bunch of metal and creates a freaking rhinoceros thing called Punk Quarter Dio, which... Apparently it's like, you know, whatever. All I know is it's a giant mechanical or electro electro mechanical like um, bull and it attacks Big Mom and Kid and Law states out loud, I don't care what you do and I, and, and, and until and, or if I have to die, both Law and Kid says we won't let you go to the rooftop because honestly, if Big Mom interrupts the fight with Kaido and Luffy and she joins up with Kaido and defeats Luffy, it's game over because teaming fighting against two Yonko at the same time, they all know it's gonna be it's gonna be hell. Very bad hell. And that's why Law and Kid says even if we die, we're not gonna let you reach the rooftop. So yeah. Anyways, we don't know what's about to happen next, but pre next episode is gonna be a recap. So pretty much no recap anime episode sadly but whatever because it is what it is looking forward to the episode after next week so until then people i'll see you guys in the next video so i'm off as it all have a good day i'll see you guys next time all right peace out bye bye Ta -da!